As you can see, there are lots of input and output connectors on the back panel. First, let's take a look at the choices of inputs. In the second row from the bottom, we have eight HD, SD, SDI inputs. Each one of these are truly multi-format in that they can independently handle standard F or high def signals along with the differing aspect ratios. In the bottom row, there are two DVI-D inputs. These can be easily changed to HDMI by using a simple adapter. In the middle, we have HD-SD component as well as RGB inputs. Two are the BNC type inputs and two are the 15-pin D sub type. SD inputs in the form of composite and S-Video YC are at the top right of the rear panel. Note that each input also has dedicated through outputs, making it very easy to send to any type of monitoring device. Now let's take a look at the outputs. Located at the left bottom are two HD, SD, SDI outputs. Next to those are the two DVI-D outputs. Note the number one and number two designation on both of these sets of outputs. We'll look shortly at how to assign different material and even different formats to each of those outputs. In the middle, we have the HD, SD component and RGB output jacks. And the same signal is output by both connectors. At the top right are the standard DEF outputs. When a signal is being sent to this output, both the composite and S-Video connector output the same thing. The V1600HD also includes a number of connectors enabling synchronization with external equipment. First, if you have a house clock or other external reference, then you can change the sync reference in the system menu from internal to external. The reference input and through support bi-level, tri-level sync, as well as frame sync from Blackburst. In the upper left, the MIDI input-output enables synchronization with Roland audio and video products using V-Link. This can be used in a number of convenient ways, such as selecting video clips on a Roland P10 visual sampler directly from the mixer bus. Also, associating a stereo audio channel on a vMixer digital console with a video channel so that when you go live with that video source, the audio level is automatically raised at the same time. At the top, we have the RS422 jack, which allows integration with external controllers such as in-wall touch panels. As well, these tele connectors here enable integration with camera systems. As you can see, the variety of connectors available on the V1600HD make it definitely the best in its class. There are no extra cards to buy, so out of the box, you're ready to go with maximum flexibility in any production environment.